Were you guys able to kind of hit the reset button? Uh, yeah. No, I think the bye week is coming at the perfect time, honestly, both or for a reset, both mentally and physically, you know. Uh, a lot of guys pretty banged up in this game. It was a really physical game, really physical football team. Um, and so it'll be good for our bodies, but it'll be good just to reset mentally, you know. That was a huge win. We're at an emotional high right now, but we do need to kind of dial it back and reset because, like I said, we didn't play a complete and consistent football game. If we did, you know, take away three big plays and a huge touchdown that we gave up before half, and I think we kind of blow them out. Um, and so I think we need to reset and kind of regroup. Yes, it was a huge win. But we got more that we're going for. You know, that's a non-con game, and that was a huge win. But we're expecting to do a lot more. So I think this week will be huge for our prep for um, Oki State and all of that. You did have one ball you couldn't hang on to, I think, in the third quarter. Then you followed up with a 20-yard reception for a first down and I think a 23-yard touchdown. How nice was it to atone for that with those two plays? Yeah, no, it was really – I mean, it always feels good to make plays for your team just to know you're helping out your team, especially like that late in the fourth to put a go-ahead touchdown on the board. Um, it was pretty special for me. Yeah, like you said, I had one in the third. That was kind of on a third and long, too, that you obviously want to come up with. Couldn't do it. Um, but, you know, the team picked me up. Uh, I knew we bounced back and we'd have more opportunities to make plays later in the game. Yeah. From up up top, it looked like you came open almost immediately on that touchdown. Like, did you know you were going to be open that fast? And how bad did you want Skyler just to get rid of the ball and get it to you? Yeah, um, I had a feeling it was going to be a really good play. Like I told some other guys in here, we ran that in scout team and it was wide open this week mm -hmm. in practice, which is obviously going to be that way. It was versus scouts. Right. But I was talking to Skyler about it. He just said, I hope it's that open in the game. And right. I knew that safety had to run fit. I knew I had to nickel over me. Just kind of had to get away from him. And I kind of eclipsed both of them and yeah, looked back and saw Skyler had made it out on his roll and I was like, all right, this is happening. So it feels really good. I know you guys aren't worried about last year's game and, and what happened in the past, but how, how does the gap close that much in 12 months from what happened last year on your home field to coming here and winning? Like what, what changed in that last year? I mean, I think a lot's changed, honestly. Um, obviously, the whole new coaching staff coming in, I think they've been awesome. But I think, you know, the mindset on the team's a little bit changed. I think this team is really close on and off the field. So I think that's been huge, you know, especially with how we dealt with adversity today. You know, I think we had some plays that would, like, really hurt, hurt us and they were really detrimental. But we just came closer from that. We battled through and overcame that. You know, to overcome a seven-point deficit in the fourth is huge um, on the road. That's really tough. Um, so I think it's just guys loving each other, playing for each other. People get excited. People make big plays, all of that. Do you feel like you guys 